For a lot of restaurants in the capital city, keeping the doors open without having any running water is almost impossible. Some are still struggling to do it. Tuesday, Bravo's in Jackson was just getting its doors back open for the first time in a week. The lack of city water left them little choice but to close the doors and try to compensate employees as best they could. As a matter of fact, we have figured out a way to get them paid for the time off. As the restaurant restarts business, it has been a hard week off in a year where restaurants have already suffered greatly because of pandemic restrictions on things like seating. At least Bravo operators are practiced at dealing with a water crisis in Jackson. We order canned drinks, we're on bottled water, we order ice. You boil your tea, you know, you don't just turn on a machine anymore. And operators at Green Coast Tacos have not been able to just turn on its drink dispensers. To do a little bit of extra work by transporting water from our other location. Uh, that's how we've been able to stay open. And that is not easy with no running water for restrooms. It's definitely impacting business. Um, uh, we can't have people dine in. Uh, we have to do only to go. And it affects uh, the amount of hours we're able to operate throughout the day. Their serving hours are cut as they try to keep employees on payroll and limit the financial impact this water crisis continues to have. The hope is that the water pressure will soon return to restaurants after the boil water notice will be able to return to business as it was. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.